How to enter a journal entry in Business Central. In today's video, we'll be reviewing the process of how to enter journal entries in Business Central. The purpose of entering journal entries is to post transactions directly to the general ledger. To access general journals, go up here, type in, and I've selected the default batch. So once you select the batch, you're presented with the general journal screen. The posting date right here is defined by the working date in the system. And you can easily amend this if different from the working date by selecting the date picker and picking a date prior or later. We'll start by entering the uh, general ledger account number. If you know what the account number starts with, you can start typing that. Alternatively, you can enter the description. I'll start with invoice job sales. You will see that the account name and the description auto populate. You can amend the description and add to the end of it or remove it entirely to adjust as needed. Let's scroll over to the amount column. In the amount column, the debts and credits are based on positive and negative values. You can enter positive or negative here, and it will define as an amount in one of these columns. We'll start by entering $100. If this is a simple one-sided entry, you can balance this all in one line by using the balance account type and the balance account number. I'll start by entering an income amount. Once selected, the line is balanced. We can check by previewing the posting. We can see how the entry has affected our general ledger. Alternatively, you don't have to use the balance account type. You can leave that blank. So we're going to scroll up here, here, and then preview posting. And there it is. And we could just go here and we could actually leave that blank if we wanted to as well. So we're going to go back and we're going to start a new entry. You just have to make sure that the document number remains the same. So we're going to start a new entry. We're just going to make sure that the document number remains the same. Here I'm going to, uh, let me just quickly put this in. We're going to pick uh, WIP job sales. And let's scroll down to amount. And uh, here I'm going to enter my income account and enter a negative value right here. So let's go with that. Once done, we can preview the posting and check general ledger entry. These have the same effects. So we're going to go here, preview posting. There it is. If you need to balance against multiple GL accounts, you can do so here as well. So I'm going to change this to a negative 50. And I'm going to add another line and balance to another income account. And here we're going to enter negative 50. Now we're going to preview the posting. There we go. And then we can post this entry. Or 
Once the entry is posted, we can move over to our general ledger entries. So we're going to go here, up here, and click here. Here you'll be able to see all the posted transactions that affect the general ledger. This would include invoices, payments, credit memos, as well as journal entries. To search, we'll use the document number that we just posted. And you can see it pulls up all the lines that we had entered. This concludes how to enter a journal entry in Dynamics 365 Business Central.